commend the mover of this motion for bringing to the fore this communal clashes. And of course, the loss of any Nigerian life is of great importance to not only the parliament, but also to the people of Nigeria. And I want to thank him for being a very proactive representative and bringing it to the fore. However, Mr. Speaker, I, I am a little concerned with one of the motions, uh, with one of the prayers, especially prayer one. And it reads, urge the Chief of Army Staff to direct the military commander stationed in the border between Aria and Abama communities to arrest the deteriorating security situation. Mr. Speaker, by the laws that have been passed by this parliament, the Chief of Army Staff cannot deploy the troops. It is the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. And two days, uh, uh, Mr. President, and two days ago, Mr. Speaker, there was also concern brought to the floor, before the floor of this House, about the over-militarization of our communities. Mr. Speaker, the job of the Nigerian Armed Forces is to protect the territorial integrity of our country. We have a standing Nigerian police force and mobile police that should be deployed to do this work. So my concern is that while we recognize that there's absolute need for us to bring back the peace to those areas, Mr. Speaker, sir, I believe that the Nigerian military should be confined to the job for which the Nigerian military must do so that as we continue to get concerned about the fact that the Nigerian army is on the streets at checkpoints in, our, in a democratic government, that as a parliament we're very careful that we do not ask that they be deployed to the streets and into the places that they really not be. And I also... Yes, so I recommend that prayer one is deleted to, and replaced with the Nigerian police and the mobile police force to go in and ensure that peace is returned to those places. I so submit. Thank you. So it's a contribution. Would